Amendments is not allowed here. You get that chase from the Allen Report? I just Go to got chase that. <laughs> from the Allen Report. Like, share, and subscribe. So they're, so they're definitely gonna ID us walking in here, which is unfortunate. All right, so is that yeah. like a law? Uh, this is key cap, key card Okay, so we just gave up our location currently, so I can't <laughs> enter the other way. We could, we could be in the wrong area, yeah. yeah. This could be the employee entrance. But it wouldn't make sense to have an ID sign. All right, guys, so we're gonna go back to the other entrance here. That one looks like it's an employee entrance. <laughs> That's the thing. Well, you're no. a police officer, so you're not. Your job is to enforce the law, not the policy, or else you'll be a, a policy enforcer. Well, it enforcer. says right here. It says the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects. Our papers and our effects, right there, against unreasonable searches and seizures, shall not be violated. Judge would have to decide what's unreasonable. But we why, say why, this is not why would you why would you want to take it? We say this is not unreasonable. Do you don't think you don't, you don't, think, you don't you look, let me ask you a question. You don't think having to give up my ID and go through a search it's and give up But wait, wait, I'm asking you though. Okay. If if uh, if I have to give up my ID my I'm not giving it up, you're just showing it. You well, I'm, it I'm, I'm willingly giving my name, address. I'm also um, giving up my Second Amendment rights. Um, and if there's not a warrant or any evidence, then that is unreasonable, right? Because if there, if you, oh, what suspicion do you have then to? Uh, suspicion. Suspicion. Right. Where did that come from? Yeah. Oh, no, because right here it says it says unreasonable searches and seizures. Right. It says unreasonable searches but why would you want to take all the way to the black and white from the Would you have any reason to search me? If I had a not committed a crime or had a suspicion committed a crime? What's that? You have that? No, what happened? There's a shots fired at the dog right outside the AV test. At the DMV? Right outside DMV. You want me to cover the DMV or do you want to go? Yeah. Where do you want me to go? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, Officers, please be safe. Despite our disagreements on uh, this, maybe some of the things I want you to say that we've got this country. We can disagree. And thank you for your service. I hope you guys are very That's safe right now. Exactly. Right now. We're also going to go cover that story right now. All right, we'll be back. <clears throat> all right, guys, so you heard it. Gunshots fired at the DMV. Let's go, Bucket. So we're gonna go check that out and we're gonna come back to the Capitol building. All right guys, pulling up on scene to supposedly an active shooter of some sort What's at the DMV on, in Delaware. Officer seems to be all right. The guy, the officer said the guy fled the scene. Well, yeah. So, uh, those officers just apparently gave us some misinformation, or they were either misinformed themselves. I can't tell you, but we do have this gentleman here that's uh, speaking. They informed us just a minute ago that there were shots fired here at the DMV. That's why we went over here to investigate. We were at the state capitol and left abruptly because of that. Um, and then we saw two of the same officers that we have. One's on the phone here, and the other one just left. And it looked like the officer on the, on the way inside was saying that actually shots had been fired, but not specifically here. Uh, apparently that was after the fact. So I'll tell you one thing though, as a side note, there's nobody in the city. This is not like anything we see in Rhode Island, Massachusetts. I don't know if it's a lucky day or what, but uh, it's very interesting. And also, 
I don't, you're, you're gonna have to make up what you will about that shot fire thing because they, they both came over here really quickly. However, the interesting part about that was they didn't seem like they were in a hurry afterwards to leave. Because if that's the case, then there should still somebody be injured, but just not this location. So you think that they'd be a little more Johnny on the spot, but that's not the case. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can help me figure that out. Let's come over here. So again, reports of shots fired by the officers that are here. One of them leaving said that the shots were fired. Bucket, what, what, what did the other officer say when the shots were fired? He said the shots were fired somewhere else, but the officer was leaving the DMV, is what he supposed we said back at the state capitol building. Okay. Services do you provide? Here. I need a call from my let them know that y'all here. Uh, so let's see what's going on over here. Are you gold star compliant? Do you have your driving privileges? It's your right to travel. Uh oh, what are you filming? So you need it for general identification. You also, first of all, you don't have any driving privileges. You have the right to travel. Um, anytime you ask, you're phone. getting for a privilege, you're asking for permission for something that you don't otherwise have the right to do. General identification, if you remember Nazi Germany, they would say, papers please, papers please. Um, boarding a domestic flight, you also need that ID for a center reason. And then entering a secure federal facility. So it's already difficult enough to get in. You have to give up your second amendment, your uh, First Amendment. Uh, it looks like we have an uh, uh, something going on. Shall we our fourth amendment either? And we're also not violating anyone's privacy or getting anyone's privacy. Private private You're right, there is no expectation of privacy in here because this is a public building. Thank You're you exactly right on that. Right? And we're in official business right now. As but well. when you when you start putting your cameras in people's faces, well, we, have enough, we have we have enough distance. Twenty feet away is not in somebody's face. Can I speak, please, sir? I'm speaking to a gentleman. Yeah. Okay. We're not trying to bother anyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We're not here to record the people. We don't want to engage them in any way. They engage to us. Make it if they're not us. happy about being on video, maybe they should be mad at you guys. You guys have over 25 cameras in this building. We're working on a story. We have the right to be here. And we're not about, we have no ill will. So we're not doing anything wrong. Okay, how much time do you think you're gonna? Probably a little bit longer. I mean, are you gonna be interviewing anybody besides me? No, no. No, you just. No, we don't need to speak to anyone. We might. How can we get a public records request? Can we, can we, can we do a public record? You, want, you need to go to, you want to need a FOIA request or something? Or just, yes. yes. Can we do that? I have no clue you need to talk to in here. So, 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 probably, I would probably start with a supervisor or a manager. All right, so why, why are you here right now? Well, the only reason why I'm here is because it's been brought to my attention that you, with your cameras, are making a lot of people nervous recording it, all right? Again, you don't, I'm not saying you're in your face, if you just have a camera pointed at someone who's just trying to conduct normal business here, it makes them kind of suspicious. They know the cameras here are being used for this building only. The, the information here. Well, according to Edward Snowden and General Clapper, that information is also tapped in by the National Security Agency as well. And that's been 
Oh no, that's a legal fine that's been going on for a very long time. We're engaged in a constitution. We're engaged in a constitutionally protected act, as opposed to a legal fine. So we just want to make sure that our tax money is going to the correct place. And I, you've been very respectful with us uh, so far. How was Malinky? Yep. So, I mean, I don't know how much time you guys need to, to, to get your... Well, that's the thing. I mean, there's this not a lot of stuff. This is just normal I, business going I, I, I on. I understand, but we say that to Fox News that they were here. But you, Fox, the only reason why Fox News would show here if there was something that was pr pressing to th bring them here, they just we don't, are they actually working on a story. That's you know, we don't want to be rude, but that kind of doesn't concern you right now. You know, we have the we have the freedom to do so. So why I'm do we have to discuss it? I'm not saying you don't have the freedom. I'm just saying you are making a lot of people nervous. Well, they're they're feeling walking so. around with cameras. And you know, you're going to have to bear that responsibility. No, and, we, and, and if anyone has any questions, we'll uh, we'll gladly answer any questions. We are not here to be rude to anyone. So there's no reason for anyone to be nervous. <laughs> have you have you explained that to everyone else? Have you gotten their consent to put them on, on your cameras? I think they would get a little bit nervous if I start approaching them and asking them. I mean, are you going to go and are you guys going to go and redact their information? What if there's a kid in here? Well, we, we don't have film children. We don't film children. How do you know? But you, you can't help we that. Well, well we, we have editing well, you, materials as well, too. Yeah. I mean, we, 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 go, we go around the entire country doing this. So. Okay. Yeah. So this is what we do. This is basically what we do for a living. Yeah. That part of this, I mean, I'll clue you in on, on it afterwards. Is that part of why we do this. It's part of the social experiment to normalize the fact that citizens should be engaging in photography. And it shouldn't just be the government watching us a one-way thing. And it should be normal that people should be able to film uh, in a public accessible area. So that's part of the social reason we're doing it. Hey, thank you, and God bless you. Be safe yeah, out there, yeah. and peace. Like, you know, we, I'm just saying. Uh, yes, you should probably be careful because you might come across somebody's past. You that could be waiting for your right. Trust that's me, what, we, have. we have. We have. You, <laughs> be, you guys could. Officer, you, you, better you be, might you might go the wrong way. Hey, officer. We have. Here's the supervisor. You, you better believe We're looking for the last time they call you over you how are you, ma'am? Can I walk you guys out this no. way? We're, we're still finishing the story. We'll be out in a, oh, a few moments. Oh, are you working moments. with the officer? No. Yeah. no, 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 no. We're, we're, we don't with work with the officer. We don't, we don't work separately. We don't work with him. He we're works for us. Separately. He, he works for us. Okay, we'll talk to you so, out there in a few so, moments. So do you. We're just trying to make, you see this whole situation right now? This will never happen. These guys all are, are, are going to be educated today on freedom of the press. They're no longer going to bother you while you're trying to look for... Um, Another thing that we noticed too is the amount of employees that just stand around, play on their phone, when we're paying them our hard earned tax money, uh, they should be realizing that. Did you realize that people just don't normally walk in here with their cameras And that's like what I that. said, that's part of the social and experiment which they need to understand. you uh, automatically drawn their attention. Yeah, and that's Normally part people come in here with bushels of plastic and that's why paper. It's so so we're, trying, we're trying to and find out. And it's also part of the government employee's job to, pr to procure those in a safe way. And that's part of the test that we're operating right now. Oh, okay. We're also trying to find out if they give us the correct information. Mostly, to, most of the time, we walk in, and the first thing they say is uh, something. They enforce their feelings. So these people right here work for I us. I mean, look how many people have literally nothing better to do right now. Well, you guys are, you guys are drawing. Yeah, but well, that's not my fault. They should go back to work. I mean, you see a man with the camera. Okay, great. Right now, there's you can tell there's <laughs> not a supervisor right here to 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 you know tell these people to alleviate pay. their tensions. Yeah, everyone's still standing around. Look at this. Look at these people right here. I mean, they weren't there until we got here. But like I you said, I'm done. I'm. I mean, are you safe out You're there. very nice. Yep. You take care. And you uphold the Constitution, which is a pass. And you're playing courteous. <laughs> Those are the two things that a public servant is supposed to be. You are very. Uh, you're on the rear path. You're, you're on the I'm right. The you're on the right yes. side of, of, of <laughs> history and of the law. History. That's right. All right. Well, We're all gonna die one day. When you die, you're gonna be on the right side I of history. I appreciate the compliment. But just be careful out there, guys. Just again, just be aware that when you start putting cameras in people's faces, you may get a reaction that can be unwanted. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh, we're very well aware. Yeah. All right. Hey, yes, God bless sir. you. Be yep, safe. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. I'm done. And this is why we do this, because we go to a lot of government facilities all across the country. And as you'll note, we go and people are just scrolling on their phones. They're not paying attention. We'll go into legislators uh, having session and people will be mourning over someone that has just passed and their family members will be there and they'll be talking. They'll be on this phone. So we're just here. And now everybody in this building just got a quick education on public photography and the First Amendment rights of ordinary citizens, not just the government, not just the CIA one way spying, not just the FBI, not just the NSA, not just all these 
acronym agencies illegally spying on you. No, we're talking about our own citizens, First Amendment, constitutionally God-given inalienable rights. And we're gonna keep fighting for that. Go to Instagram, Auditing America. Find him on Facebook as well. Join the conversation there. Find him on minds.com, M-I-N-D-S dot com, forward slash Auditing America. Find Demand the Truth there too. If you want to look up on go ahead, Demand the Truth. But please give me a like, share, and subscribe. That is the best way we get this information out here because we cannot exercise our rights without people standing back. It's because of good officers like Malinsky, Sergeant Malinsky right there, upholding our First Amendment rights that we don't live in a complete tyranny because there are other officers in other places that will straight up lie, straight up try to take your rights. But this guy enforced our rights and was polite and courteous and all those DMV workers right there got an education on the First Amendment. They were coming in like, oh my God, we're terrorists. But the only weapons we're equipped with is the most powerful and those are cameras. So guys, like, share, subscribe, get this out. Let's get to Auditing America to 200K subs. Get over to the Allen Report, like, share, subscribe. Fuck your boy news 401, demand the truth, Auditing America, Mr. America, like, share, subscribe. We're also celebrating 40 million views. 40 million views of holding government officials accountable, making sure they're doing the right things. We have good encounters and bad encounters. And the you reason win. we do this is to uphold those good ones, give them a pat on the back. Thank you for supporting the Constitution and making sure that the other ones, we're holding them in check because this government doesn't work unless we hold our public servants to their feet to the fire. And that's literally how this works. So if we're not an active, engaged citizenry, we cannot have a government and then it becomes tyranny. And as Thomas Jefferson said, Defiance is the best way to upset tyranny. I'm paraphrasing there, but go to Audit America, like, share, and subscribe, guys. Let's see if we can hit the state house. That was awesome.